Good morning. Happy New Year. I'm Crafty Candy, craftycandy.blogspot.com. Um, I'm recording this on New Year's Day, but you guys probably won't see it for a while. So I've gotten a lot of complaints about being the headless craft woman, mostly from my mother. Hi, Mom. Um, but some of my Love Bug Creation Design Team people, too. So we'll see. I'm going to try to shoot it a little higher up. I don't know. I don't like to have to put makeup on to do this, and I didn't, so we'll see how I like it. Anyway, I have um, a Love Bug Creation Design Team project that and it's also a um your paper pantry swap i i haven't done them for quite a while a year ago today actually my son was in a car accident and i got away from a lot of my crafting just for fun um and the swaps were one of the things that had to go back then and and um you know how it is when you let something you really like that go it's kind of hard to get back into it but I, i'm ready um it's winter and it's cold and it's miserable outside and i want to do um, I want to do some some crafting for me. So I joined a couple of swaps. I joined the um, Packet for Your Thoughts. Eile used to host it, and I think, and it's somebody new this time, I'm not going to say who because I don't remember. And I, I really like these. I've, I've used some of the ones that I did before in mini albums. I've used them as gift card holders. I really, really like these, me with my dirty hands. So um, this time it needed to be 5 by 7 finished and made out of a sturdy um, material. She said like a manila folder. I happen to have some um, repurposed manila folders laying around. So I did mine with that and it had to be a vintagey love theme. Yeah. So um, I started with the manila folder base. I cut it down and then I added the, I don't think you can see it, the seam, the fold on the bottom to connect the two pieces just to kind of give it more of a gusset. It doesn't have any thickness here, but just to give it a little more, I felt like it made it a little more pocket-like to do that. And I had to have it at least, I think it's at least three inserts, whatever the number was, I'm way over. I used, um, all of the pattern paper is from the Victoria Garden collection from Echo Park, which I don't feel like got a ton of play. Um, the lighting isn't any better in my new craft room, is it? But I, but I really like it, and I thought it worked really well for this. So, um... I covered it, like I said, pattern paper, Victoria Garden, Echo Park. <clears throat> and this is well. I edged everything with Tim Holtz tea dye. All of these trims, this black one, this lace one, and this eyelet, came from Julie, the paper bag lady. She puts together the, the best grab bags, so that's where those came from. This, of course, is my gorgeous rumple ribbon, which I can never get enough of. This particular color is all of you. Um, I did two of them with the green and one of them with the peach. I just thought the green has a nicer contrast. Um, so let's see. Up at the top, I have a glass um, paper clip that I just tied a little ribbon to. This is not from the collection. This is one of those oddball things you find at Tuesday morning. A digi that I cut out from La Vie and Rose, um, just a dress form. It was already like this. It was already stamped and everything. I just cut it out and fussy cut it and added a little bling at the top. That clip's on there. I've got some Say It With Pearls. Actually, it's the Recollections version of Say It With Pearls on the top. Rumple ribbon and then another Recollections little bling right here. And then I made a pocket in the front with paper. Um, and I just added some kind of found things I had around the house. This is Webster's Pages. It's a tag from the Western Romance Collection. Um, this is that... Melanie, Melanie Rose, I think, something like that. I found those a Tuesday morning, a big pocket, packet of those, and then I just glued one of these tag cutouts that I found on Pinterest on the back. I just like, I don't know why, I just like how that feels. Um, and then this is a tag. I found this at Marshall's, actually, in a, in a set of tags, and I just inked up the edges. I really like that. I think that's super cute. Added the black and white twine. <clears throat> so those three all fit in this top pocket. I used a border punch and then you can see the sticker. I used a sticker in the back and then letters from the paper collection there. So those all go there. And then in this pocket are the bigger tags. There's one missing. Ah! I better fix that before I send it. I put three tags in each one. Um, this one is a note card. I had it, it tied the pink and the blacks together, and then I just cut out a piece of the green from the collection, and then a big um, 
pink swirl on there. And then for the tag, I used a big fat piece of black satin ribbon. I thought that was kind of fun for the pull on there. And I left the back plain on this one. Um, both of these are digis I found on um, Pinterest, free downloadable digis. I just printed them out and inked the edges. Isn't that just beautiful? Um, and they're on black and then with the Stampin' Up! round tab punch on there. And this bird, I just thought it was gorgeous. And I, if you can see, I um, embossed, heat embossed a little bit of silver on the crown. And then I added this lace flower down there. I left the black on um, that one black also. So the two tags, they both have green on them. And then the black pull, they go in the big pocket. So three big tags on the inside, three little tags in the front pocket. And then this little one here on the front. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with them. It's been a while, like I said, it's been a while since I've done them, so it's always a little intimidating when you get back into something. So I've made three of these. Those will go out um, to swap them when I get my other ones back in. I'll show those too. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.